Hello now, it is me, Morse Andy, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about man's health, living like a real man. So, it's a very important thing. You can't just shove it to the back of your mind. If you're a guy, you have to stay on top of these things. Make sure you're getting plenty of zinc in your diet. Get plenty of adequate high quality proteins from eggs, nuts, meats. Fish is my favorite. I eat so much fish, you wouldn't believe. I just ate a can of mackerel just now. It's just so fishy. I enjoy the fishiness taste of nice fishy fish. <laughs> what you have to do if you want some testosterone, you want to be a man with a deep voice. You want to be the go-getter, the alpha male, you want to be a winner, right? You want to be a winner, right, don't you? So what you have to do is make sure that you are getting adequate caloric intake, plenty of calories, a caloric surplus, and you want to couple that with some nice, healthy exercise, resistance training, cardio. This is so important for you guys out there. I know it's important for me. I'm on the bicycle, doing a little bit of push-ups, doing a little bit of squats, deadlifts, shoulder press. I do, you know, all kinds of stuff, lunges, just anything I can think of while I'm working out in my basement. I ride a stationary bicycle, and this is all I have to do to stay in shape. But I have a road bike and a mountain bike depending on the terrain uh, that I am planning to ride on. I would take one or the other, and I'd just go on a nice four hour long joy ride on my bicycle. Yes, it's so important to get out in the sunshine, get that vitamin D synthesis action, get all kinds of nice fresh oxygen in through your nose and out through your mouth. <sighs> Breathing exercises are so important to make sure that you're staying in a relaxed, parasympathetic, nervous activity. You have to have to know how to breathe deep and expand your diaphragm so that your belly extends outwards. And you have to exhale Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Go on a nice joy ride on the bicycle, or if that's not your thing, go on a jog, or you can go swimming, or you can row a boat, or do anything you would like. You know, I don't really have that that fast coordination that it takes to do like a soccer game, a game of baseball, basketball. It's just not my thing. I'm more of a racing type of guy. Figure out what kind of guy you are if you don't currently exercise. Figure out what kind of physical activity you receive the most enjoyment from the most. So let's talk about a little bit about testicular health, prostate health, getting rid of all the cancer cells in your body, relieving yourself of that oxidative stress Getting rid of those free radicals completely reducing your risks of getting cancer. Or treating your cancer if you have caught it early. If you get a neoplasm in your prostate, or in your testicle, or in your bladder, or anywhere in your, your, you know, it's just kind of very important to catch that early and to treat it. Now, I am no doctor. Okay, listen to your doctor's advice. I'm just trying to point you into the right direction. What I do to ensure that I can stay on top of my health is I practice herbal medicine, okay? I mix up a bunch of, a variety of different plants. It's important to mix it up. So a couple of the plants I recommend for, you know, boosting your prostate health and stuff, Get some nice, nice garlic. And 
I actually prefer dandelion roots. Okay, the reason why I choose dandelion roots is because it restores the function in your kidneys. It's a mild diuretic. Okay, it will make you urinate more frequently, but with this frequent urination, it will be more dilute urine. Okay, you're gonna be flushing all those toxins out of that kidney, getting that nice filtration of the blood going and if you have more urine output flowing through your bladder you reduce your risks of getting incontinence you know bladder cancer and prostate cancer and all these things impotence you you, you just don't want to mess around so take steps now if you're a young man so that when you get on to the later stages of your life bad things will not happen to you this is important now. You, you don't just want to forget about men's health. It's men's awareness. This is what it's all about. This is what I'm promoting to you guys. Fish is very nice. Very nice to have all kinds of a variety of seafood. If you want to be boosting your testosterone levels, I recommend you eat a whole can of smoked oysters and a nice salad. Mix it up. Make a nice big salad. Put a tasty dressing on it. The oyster contains zinc. And you also want to avoid any soy products. No soy milk. No, no, no. This is not a good thing. You have to get the real milk from the cow. You can't mess around with almond milk either. These fake milk is very unhealthy for you. I choose to just drink some nice pasteurized, 2% reduced fat, whole milk, whatever I have. And that is what I do. Skim milk, you're missing out on some fats. And generally, if it's skim, it doesn't have as much cholesterols. You need the cholesterols to synthesize certain hormones for the male body. Testosterone is a hormone. You need cholesterol good cholesterol to synthesize this. Now, good cholesterol can be found in walnuts, almonds, peanuts, all kinds of nuts. It can be found, okay? You can get pecans, you can get cashews. Munch on some trail mix when you're hungry as a snack. Instead of a nasty old bag of potato chips, you don't want to mess around with all that sodium. You don't want to rot your bones out with all that sodium. So what you do is you snack on some nice trail mix, some raisins in there, nuts of all sorts, little M&Ms is fine, it's just some chocolate, whatever. And craisins, craisins are important too. You want to eat a variety of dried fruits, I've found, if you want to be boosting that testosterone. Go pick up a bag of dried calamere figs or a nice bag of dried mangoes or get some dried peaches or dried plums, prunes, dried pineapples, dried pears, whatever you can get your hands on. Dried mandarins is good. It's very nice. So the next step to boosting your testosterone I recommend no ketoacidosis. What is what it is basically is breaking down fats and proteins for energy rather than glucose, carbohydrates, starches for breads. So, to follow a proper keto diet, you have to have no more than 50 grams of carbs every day. It's very it makes a huge change in your lifestyle if you just try it for a little while. See how you do. If you're a little bit diabetic, you know, you, you can just ease into it, but it will eventually cure your type 2 diabetes. If you cut out all your sources of carbs, all that bread, all those potato chips, all those starches that you don't need. You know, if you're eating a can of beans, legumes has good starches, it's fine. It's mixed with some nice fiber in there. It won't really spike your blood sugar. Because what you don't want to do is damage yourself with the diabetes, you see. 
You don't want to spike your blood sugar. You just want the sugars to ease in slowly if you're going to choose to eat sugar in the first place. Don't put any sweeteners in your coffee. So, this has been Moist Andy with some more tips and tricks on to how, how to improve your male health and boost your... T